going to show you how to upload your new book to Create Space to sell on Amazon. So first of all, to get started, we need to click on Add New Title. The title I'm adding is called The Y Word. Um, this book is um, a picture book based on my grandson uh, and it's connected to his YouTube channel Full Time Sprang. So this is going to be his merchandise. I'm going to select paperback and I'm going to go for the setup process of guided. It's a step by step process which helps you along the way. So click get started. OK, this is where we put our title information. So if you've got a subtitle, you'll enter it here. Primary author, so enter your name. Um, you can also add any other contributors such as um, editors or illustrators, just to show you. Um, I'm going to put illustrated by um, because I've illustrated the book. I'll um, add my name in. Oops. And then if you've got a series title, if it's part of a series, you'd enter the information here with the volume number. And if it's another edition of a book you've, you've published before, that would go here. So if you've got a publication date you'd like to publish the book by, you would enter it here. I haven't, so I'm just going to save and continue. As we're going through the process, you'll see on the left hand side where it has set up um, a tick by the title information. So every time I complete a section, I'll see a green tick to say that bit's been done. Next is your ISBN. You've got two options. You can use the free Create Space assigned ISBN at no charge. Um, but there will be restrictions applied to that and you can also, if you choose, provide your own. Um, I believe that will give you more freedom with your publishing. I always go for the free option. Um, so there are some restrictions there um, and one of those is it can only be used with CreateSpace independent publishing platform. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and assign my free ISBN number. So now I've done it, it's locked my ISBN. I can't make any changes now. That's applied to that title. So I'm going to click continue. I'm now up to my interior stage. This is where we need to um, choose a size which is appropriate for the book. So my option isn't here, so I can click on more sizes and I've gone for a square shape. And I'm going for full colour on white paper. So my PDF copy that I'm uploading of my book has been preset so that it'll fit the trim size eight and a half by eight and a half. And here is an example of an eight and a half by eight and a half picture book. So next I'm going to upload my file, so I've chosen to use a PDF. Because it's a picture book I've chosen to end after the page, that's the bleed option. 
I've left the tick in run automatic print checks and what I've done is I've put an error in the book so you can see how it pulls out any changes that I need to make. So click save and that will start to upload. Now it's doing an automatic print check, it's resolving potential issues so that I can review them once it's processed. So the interior checker has now found one issue with my file. So if I launch the interior reviewer, I'll be able to see what the problem is. So click on get started. And it says that I've got a file which contains less than 200 dpi, that's dots per inch. And I know which one it is, it's this one that I planted so that I could show you. The rest of the book seems fine. So I'm going to close the interior reviewer and I'm going to make some corrections to my file and upload again. So here is the problem. I put that in knowing that the resolution wasn't up to standard so I'm just going to remove that and save the file again. So now I'm going to upload a different file and go through the process again. The automatic print check didn't find any issue, so I'm going to launch the reviewer. And as you see, I can see all the pages now with no found manuscript issues. So if I'm happy with that, I can save and close, just check it through. And then save and continue. Okay, so I've got a tick now on the interior and I can continue to the next step. Okay, so I'm going to upload my cover. So I'm going for glossy. I'm going to build my cover online. I'm going to launch the cover creator. So it gives you selections to choose from. I'm going to go to the palm because that allows me to upload the front and back cover myself. So with your images again they should be 300 dpi. So I'm going to upload my front cover. Click next. I'm going to upload my back cover. So everything's okay with those two. And click next. And then I can choose a spine cover. So I'm going for white to match my cover. So once you're happy with your cover, submit it.
and I can have a full size preview, see what it's going to look like. Once you're happy with everything, complete the cover. So I'm going to save where I'm up to and that's the cover section complete and then continue. So to complete the process my final step is to submit the files for review. Okay, files are checked within 24 hours to ensure your setup information is correct and the files are printable. So they'll email me once they've done that process. So here I can choose my distribution. So the Amazon.com and Europe and CreateSpace eStore is already selected. I can also select libraries and academic institutions, create space direct. At the moment, the option for bookstores and online retailers is not eligible. It will become eligible later on. So I'm gonna choose my list price now. They're recommending $9.13 is the minimum. Now if I put it in as that, it will calculate my royalty and convert it to my currency. So it will actually cost £6.86. But over here on the right, it gives me my royalty rates. And if you have a look at the expanded distribution, that gives me no return. So if I up it to 9.50, that gives me 15 cent. Uh, Europe, in Europe, I get two pounds, 23 pence. Okay, so I'm going to go with that. Save and continue. I can change this at any time. I'm going to go to the description now. So I'm going to enter the description. There's some information on that. It's just telling you that this is all about your book title and it's what displays in the e-stores and on Amazon's detail page. So I'll copy and paste that in. Then we've got to choose a BISA category so that categorizes a book so it puts it into a list so you choose one that best fits your book so I'm going for fiction and short stories so choose this category I can choose an author biography if I wanted. I've got an author page and I have that information on there, so I'm going to leave that. The book language is English. I'm going to choose my country of publication, United Kingdom. And then we need to think about what search words to use. So there is more information here. Search keywords can help you. Your title will show up on both Amazon.com and search engines. So we've got to pick phrases that we think customers are likely to use when they're searching for this particular product. And I can have up to five phrases. So I'm going to have a think about that one. Um, I'm going to add Chester because I use a lot of Chester illustrations in my book. Okay, put those in for now. Save and continue. I'm up to the stage where it's asking me do I want to publish on Kindle. 
my files are still being reviewed so I've got to wait for a final print before I can go any further with that but I would recommend always having a, a Kindle version for your book okay so that's Evelyn Winters that's my guide to self-publishing if you haven't already done so don't forget to subscribe for more of this